So this is a Flume uh, smart water meter thing. And uh, DWP was offering these for like 50 bucks, basically. Uh, I think they want to, who knows, do they want a data mine? I think they already do that, though. I think they've already got radio controlled units. But anyways, it's, it's basically a smart, uh, smart meter that goes on your water meter. It doesn't replace it. And uh, it goes to an app, and you can monitor your water usage, and it'll monitor for leaks and whatever. Anyways, I like gadgetry, so and two hundred dollar gadgetry that I get for fifty bucks. Why not? So, anyways, this is it. This goes in the uh, on the meter, and I didn't even look to see. I hope hopefully it'll work with my meter. It should though. I think I've got a traditional meter with just a radio unit on it. And this is a wireless bridge um, that you have to set up. And I'm not even—I'm not sure how any of this works yet, but we'll figure it out and we'll explain it. Um, I'm sure this probably plugs into this. It's probably got, yep, it's got a USB port in the back. So obviously that bridges to this guy here. So we'll have to put that somewhere where it's somewhat in range. And uh, of course that goes on the meter. It looks like they give you some gloves. That's hilarious. Isn't that cute? Um, some sort of a tool, I imagine, probably to open up your water meter box. That's also cute. <laughs> um, and uh, an extra band or a longer band, I imagine, for strapping it down. So it looks like it's got the long one on it, but if you need a shorter one. I'm just guessing here. That's what I do. So anyways, we'll uh, check out the instructions for this and explain how it goes. Okay, so you pretty much start out with just reading the QR code off of the thing. So I'm going to do that right now. I'll scan the QR code. Okay, the first thing that we're learning here is that it doesn't want us to do that. It wants us to scan it. If I would follow the instructions, you know, we'd be in good shape. It even says it here. Do that. So let's try that first. So scan the bridge. I'm holding the camera funny so I can see what I'm doing. Did that. Now it wants me to scan the water sensor. So now we can do that. So bridge then. Everything uses a QR these days. There, got it. Okay, be sure to keep the bridge and water sensor next to each other until the app instructs you to place the water sensor on your water meter. Oh, well, but they sure make this simple, don't they? Okay, so I got to connect this up to some juice. Okay, so the instructions say uh, for me to go through and hook it up to the Flume Bridge Wi-Fi. So obviously it's broadcasting its own SSID right now. Okay, so I hooked it up to the Wi-Fi bridge. And now it wants to, sure, yeah, whatever, go ahead. All right, let me go ahead and hook this up to my uh, Wi-Fi. Okay, so I went ahead and got it hooked up to my Wi-Fi, and now it's telling me to place the devices next to each other. I don't know how next to each other they really need to be, but I'll move my junk out of the way, and I'll put it next to it. Why not? Okay, connect. Homes without a basement. Okay, so now it wants me to go put it, uh, now we got to go out to the street. Okay, so we got it installed here. It tells you to clean off the dial. You install it. It tells you how to orient it here at the bottom of the meter. And then it, it has you take a picture of it so you get to clean off the dial. And uh, it, that way, it, I, I'm assuming it reads it so it knows what model and all that it is. Now the rubber strap, you just hook it around, you know, comfortably around it and you know, just so it's snug. Okay, so you pretty much follow the on-screen instructions, which is basically strap it down, um, go run the water, it'll, it'll run you through that, you know, a shower, a hose, I just use the hose, and then uh, it takes it about a minute, and then it comes back, and it's like successful, and that's about it. So it'll tell you if there's water running, it tells you what your usage is for the day, which is kind of nice, I mean, you can kind of start gauging how much you're using, see if you're using less by changing your habits, so it's kind of nifty, um, you know. Whatever, I like gadgets. So that's just a, I think, really quick one. Very easy to set up. It's got a lithium battery in it that it comes with. I imagine it probably lasts several years, maybe. Um, I've got some stuff, some smart things with uh, 
lithium batteries in them that last this five over five years so that's pretty good so anyways i don't know if it recharges like i don't know if it has some kind of a i doubt it but you know if it had some kind of kinetic setup in it with the water going through or it would charge it i don't know i doubt it though the way that it's set up it, it probably can't um so who knows how long the battery lasts and it doesn't say in here but i bet i could find out if i did a little research so anyways yeah that's if you got one of these flume jobs you can uh set it up it's very easy you don't need anybody to do it uh, you don't need to hire anybody or you know nothing silly like that so but just one more thing i wanted to mention uh you need to keep the bridge within line of sight so i i have like uh my network stuff up in my attic so uh, i just put it up there but it needs to be it needs to have a pretty straight shot to the thing you know you can't have it going through a bunch of walls um so just keep that in mind see you guys later